April 7 is World Health Day. It is important to draw attention to the urgent action needed to ensure people have access to health care. Recent cyber attacks on the healthcare sector have shown the vulnerability of the sector and the very human cost of such attacks. I am Ambassador Jörg Lauber, the permanent representative of Switzerland to the United Nations Office and other international organizations in Geneva. To mark World Health Day, I would like to share my view with the Cyber Peace Institute on the importance of diplomatic efforts to protect the healthcare sector in a digital age. Medical facilities and the health personnel have always been an important backbone of our societies. Our dependence on them has become even more obvious with the COVID pandemic. We all applaud the work that is being done every day, every minute to improve and save lives. Switzerland, like many others, is deeply alarmed by the growing trend of cyber attacks against the health sector. The Cyber Peace Institute's report from March 2021 is titled Playing with Lives, Cyber Attacks on Healthcare are Attacks on People. The urgency of the topic couldn't have been stated more clearly. As an international community, it is our responsibility to do everything possible to protect the functioning of this vital sector that is taking care of the most vulnerable among us. We're not starting from scratch. For example, the protection of the medical mission by parties to an armed conflict has been enshrined in international humanitarian law for more than 150 years. It is one of the basic values of humanity to protect the persons hors de combat, the wounded and the sick, as well as those who provide medical assistance. At least on the legal end, I think we have made further progress in the last years. The open-ended working group on developments in the field of information and telecommunications in the context of international security, which I had the honor to chair from 2019 to 2021, specifically defines healthcare as a critical infrastructure. It spells out the need to protect healthcare infrastructure and reconfirms the relevant norms endorsed by the General Assembly of the United Nations in 2015, which include the prevention and mitigation of such attacks. Yet, while the normative framework is generally accepted, we are still witnessing horrendous acts against the health sector, both off and online, which all too often go unpunished. We need solid and coherent national implementation, including in laws, manuals and practice. This requires stamina and political will. In many cases, it also requires capacity development, both legal and technical. We must continue to scale up our efforts towards greater advocacy and accountability on this critical issue. And I can assure you that Switzerland remains strongly committed to protecting the health sector, both off and online. As we celebrate World Health Day today, during these difficult times, let us all reaffirm and strengthen our commitment to protecting innocent human lives.